is treatment failure and relapse in patients with AML, if you could describe what, and, uh, that, uh, those concepts. So when we are taking care of patients who have acute myelogenous leukemia, which is a uh, very fast growing myeloid malignancy, the goal of treatment is to uh, put this malignancy under control and restore normal hematopoiesis, uh, normal growth of the normal blood elements essentially. Uh, and we do this by chemotherapy. So obviously not all patients respond and that's why we're talking about treatment failure. And treatment failure um, happens and the relapse is basically the most common uh, cause of treatment failure. Uh, relapse essentially means that the patient uh, responded in some way to the treatment that we had initially given uh, for a variable amount of time, and then the disease came back. Uh, now, that's, as I said, the most common cause of treatment failure, but yet there's another uh, perhaps more serious form of treatment failure, and that's known as primary induction failure. And by that, I mean when we try to put the disease under control from the get-go, we do something called induction phase, which is done by utilizing large doses of chemotherapy to put the disease under control. And after giving chemotherapy for several days, we do a bone marrow biopsy 14 days later, and the hope is to find no disease in that bone marrow. So if there's a leukemia cells in that or anything over 5% in that bone marrow, then we have to use another induction course. And then again, if the bone marrow demonstrates more than 5% blasts, then uh, this patient unfortunately is defined as someone who has primary induction failure. This is also yet another form of treatment failure that uh, defines a poor prognosis. Unfortunately, this is a difficult disease to control. Now, one other feature of uh, relapse is that, of course, we always define disease based on the percentage of blasts, but realize that uh, the uh, way we evaluate leukemia has progressed in that we don't just look at the morphology, we look at minimal residual disease with various forms and hence, the notion of maintenance treatment, even in patients who have undergone a complete response uh, is very important because you will always worry about minimal residual disease. And so those terms may actually change and you may see different um, uh, definitions in the future. But for today, for the purpose of today's discussion, this is what we think of when we're thinking about treatment failure.